If you are a homeowner, how can you use your home equity to build wealth? This has been a hot topic and we will dive into it right after this. Hello, this is Sushma and welcome to my channel. Purchasing a home is always the largest investment and many homeowners expect that the equity they accumulate in their home can be used to fund a significant portion of their for retirement plan. But there are potential rewards of tapping into that equity if you understand how to use it to purchase additional real estate. More and more savvy homeowners realize that their home can be transformed into a well-building juggernaut if everything is planned wisely. So how is this possible? How can the equity in your home be used to buy more real estate? It all depends on how much your house appreciated over the years. Let's go right into how you can use your home not only as your private refuge but as a powerful investment vehicle. First point to consider is how the magic of appreciation works. Most Canadians only think of their home as their primary shelter as it comfortably builds equity. But property values in the Greater Toronto area have shown stunning appreciation rates over the last few years. Here is one example of this. The average Toronto condo prices were at $793,000 in May 2022. That's just five years ago. Now compare this with May 2017 condo prices at $565,000. That is a $228,000 appreciation, which works out to 40% gain in value. This type of appreciation would give you a substantial amount of equity to invest in an income generating rental property or two. If you own a single family home, this amount of appreciation is even greater. That's a lot of value stored within the four walls of your home. If you don't know how to use that locked in appreciation, all of that equity is essentially dead money. Meaning that other than making your net worth statement look fabulous, it doesn't do you any good as a wealth accelerator. But if you properly leverage that equity into funding the purchase of additional real estate in the GTA, you can double or even triple your gains by owning two or three appreciating properties instead of just one. It's like controlling a venture capital fund on steroids. For example, if your home is currently worth $500,000 and you own $300,000 on your mortgage, you have $200,000 of equity. Lenders will normally allow you to borrow a maximum of 80% of your home value, leaving you with $100,000 to purchase an investment. Properly valued at $350,000 with the obligatory 20% down payment to secure another mortgage, making you the proud owner of an income producing property. So long as the property you purchase have a positive cash flow, meaning the rent you collect is greater than the total of mortgage loan payment, condo fees, property tax and insurance, you allow time to improve your balance sheet through additional equity. Through additional equity appreciation, mortgage pay, pay down via your monthly payments, annual rent increases, depreciation and interest deductions of your tax bill. Second point is how to use equity for this leverage that we are talking about. Essentially, there are two ways to trap into your home equity. The first is, bar call, is buying qualifying for a fixed term home equity loan. In simple language, you borrow money from a bank or finance company at a fixed rate for a fixed length of time, usually at five years term and at a fixed monthly payment. Fixed rate loans are a straightforward way to borrow money for real estate investments. Payments and interest rates remain fixed over the term of the mortgage, but they are also the least flexible when it comes to paying off the mortgage before maturity. There can be significant prepayment penalties for paying off mortgage sooner or breaking the mortgage. The second way to access the equity in your house is through a HELOC, which is short for Home Equity Line of Credit. HELOC works much like a credit card or an unsecured line of credit because it's a revolving credit line that's secured by your home. You can borrow against your approved line of credit as you like and you only pay interest on the outstanding balance. Once you pay off the balance, no interest is due, but the HELOC remains in place until you're ready to make another investment. HELOCs can be a bit confusing, so let's walk through a practical example. Suppose your approved line of credit is 
and you borrow $20,000 to purchase real estate. In that case, you'll only pay interest on the $20,000 of borrowed funds, not the entire line of credit, and you still have $30,000 of credit available should you decide to make additional purchases. If you pay off $5,000 of your balance after six months, you only pay interest on the remaining $50,000 and your available credit increases to $35,000 of the total credit line for which you are approved. Each month that you make a payment over and above interest, the outstanding balance is reduced. You pay less interest and your available credit increases. The HELOC is a highly flexible financial instrument that's widely popular with homeowners. There was a research study done by the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada. It says that the HELOC is the second largest source of consumer debt which is surpassed only by home mortgages. Now think about market opportunities. Precisely what kind of investments can you make using the equity in your home? Several actually. Home improvements and renovations are a leading use of borrowed equity funds for many homeowners. Reinvesting where you already live can potentially increase your home's value. However, think of investing in condo units for rental income and capital appreciation. Pre-construction condo units have historically performed very well over the last 10 years as an investment. Of course, past performance doesn't guarantee future profits but it's certainly a strong indicator. As long as the number of available buyers, that is demand exceeds the available real estate supply, prices are more likely to rise. You can also invest in detached housing with your home equity if you can withstand the more volatile nature of that market. Some investors with nerves of steel patiently wait for housing bottoms and use price fluctuations to their advantage by jumping into the market after panic selling begins and snapping up properties at very low prices. So in conclusion, usually using the piled up equity in your home can be a lucrative proposition for the real estate investors by unlocking its value. But this method of financing investment only works if properties are chosen cautiously with the guidance of skilled real estate professionals such as an experienced real estate agent and real estate lawyer as your support team. They can help you avoid making bad decisions. If you like this information, please like, comment and share this video and subscribe to my channel.